So I don't use tabs or panes with my terminal, but I know that a lot of people do. So I'm going to show you how to add them into the suckless terminal. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for a thousand subs and any help would be really appreciated. So now that's out of the way, let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So being a suckless utility, ST has a lot of features missing that you'd expect from just general terminals. So it doesn't have tabbing and it doesn't have panes. And the way that you add this in, sure you could modify the C code to do it, then that would probably work, but there is already an existing way to do this and it is fairly simple. So I'm going to go over tabbing first and then we'll go over panes and then we will put them together. So it's actually a very simple process. So if we come over to my main screen, the program we're going to download is a program called Tabbed. So this is another suckless utility. And basically it was created to add tabs into Surf, but it can be used with a lot of other tools like UrxVT and you can probably get it working with like Firefox and other stuff, even though it has tabbing, you could have like Firefox tabbing within tabbing if you're a weird person like that. And basically, Tabbed will let us add tabs in. There are some patches in it, in here for it, but I don't think any of them are too useful. Yeah, no. So we're just going to download the main version of Tabbed and work from there. So just copy the git clone URL, bring up a terminal, and we can zoom in on that so you can see it a bit better. And then we'll copy that in and we clone that. And now that it's downloaded, we can just install this. So the same way you would install any other suckless software. Why did I CD sudo? What am I doing? CD Tabbed. So what we want to do is just sudo make clean install. I don't know if you need to do clean or not. I just have it as a habit now, so I'm just going to keep it like that. So that'll take a couple of seconds to build and now it is installed. So if we just run tab like this, it'll open up a window. So that's not going to do anything too special. So what we're going to do with this is if we look at the man page for tab, it'll actually show us everything that we need. So we go man tabbed. And if we come down here, we have the controls in here. So if you want to open up a new tab, that is control shift return. If you want to go to the previous tab, control shift H, next tab, control shift L. So that's Vim bindings with control shift modifiers. And then you can also move your selected tab to the left with control shift J, move it to the right with control shift K. So that is the up and down keys for Vim. And the only other really important one in here is control Q to actually close the tab. So as we can see in here with the example section, it'll show you how to actually use it. So what we're going to be using is this command in here. And this will actually give you a hint or not even a hint. It'll tell you exactly what we need to actually have panes within ST. So if we just run this without the second part. So the command that we need is this. I'm not going to write it out on camera because I will probably get it wrong. So it's tabbed R to ST dash W and then quotation marks or whatever, you know what I'm, you know what's on the screen. I'll go over what these settings actually do in a second. So if we run this now, this will open up a new window of ST and we've got basically tabbing. So I should have had my notes open up on a second screen. I did have them and then they closed anyway. So to open up a new tab, we do control, control shift enter, and that will open up a new tab. So to go to the next tab, we can do control L and control H and that will cycle between them. So fairly simple like that. So if we want to move the tab to the other side, we can, I'll put something on there. So if we do that and move it like that. So that tab we had on the right is now on the left. And if we go to the other side now, now we are on the right tab and that is the plane tab we had. And now we can move that back to the other side with control shift K and that's now moved back. And we can close that tab with control Q. So that brings us back to one tab. So it's as simple as that to get tabbing working. So the next thing that we're going to be adding is tmux, as you could have seen from the command that we had on screen. But before we go over that, I'll just go over what these options actually do. So if we go man tabbed and we look for dash, actually dash R is here. So dash R and R will replace the N R argument in command with the window ID rather than appending it to the end. So the way that I'm understanding that is it will take the window ID of the window that you pass into it. So in this case, it's ST with the dash W option. And I believe dash W will get you the window ID. So yes, that will pass the window ID into T 
tabbed, and that basically will just embed the ST window within tabbed. So now that that's out of the way, we can go to the next part, which is Tmux. So Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. Basically what it will let you do is do things like split your terminal up. You can also open up new windows within a terminal, so you can cycle between those and a bunch of other cool stuff. So to install that, we can just run sudo pacman or sudo apt-get or whatever other distro you're on. It's probably in your standard repos. If it's not, then it's pretty easy to get installed. So sudo pacman dash s tmux, and we run that, and I've already got it installed, so we don't need to worry about that. So it'll just try to update it, and nothing special will happen. So now if we run this with tmux, what will happen is, so we've got this tmux session open, and also we've got tabbing open. So now if we did something like control shift enter, that will open up a new tab so we can cycle between those. But if we full screen this one, for example, then we can do something like this. So if we go, tmux commands are weird if you're not used to them. So everything is started with control B. I'm sure you can rebind it if you want to rebind it to something else. So if we do control B and then quotation mark, that will open up a horizontal split. And if we do control B and then kill or X, that will close the pane. I don't know why I said kill. Control B X will kill the pane is what I meant to say. So if we do the, I'm sure all of these you can rebind that the bindings are real weird by default. So control B and then percentage will open up a vertical split. So if we do control B and then an arrow, that will switch over to the other, control B and then an arrow in the other direction, that will switch back. So I think, ah, oh, control B and then curly braces will move the terminal over. You probably can't tell from that. We'll try it with something in here. So if we run LS in here, now you'll be able to see when it moves. So if we do control B and then right bracket, that moves over to the right side. Control B, left bracket, that moves over to the left side. So. I have actually run into some issues with this setup. So for some reason, by default, my NeoVim wasn't working, but ever since I've tried some of the new stuff that I've been doing, it's been working perfectly fine. So if we run the NeoVim now, it should work. So if we bring up that, there we go. So now it's working fine. I don't understand why it stopped working, but it seems to be a known issue. I'm guessing something I did with some of my new plugins fixed it, but I don't know. So there actually is one more thing I wanted to go over. So if you've got terminal transparency on, you'll notice that when you open it up with tabbed, then you'll lose your transparency. So it's actually really easy to get that back. So if we close that off, if we close that off, we'll bring up a new terminal. So it's a bit easier to work with. So if we run the program xprop, which I believe you can install with sudo pacman s xorg xprop. Maybe it's just, oh, I spelled it wrong, xprop. Yeah, there we go. So what xprop will let you do is get the window class of a window, basically. So if we run it with just this, I can, why can I never spell that? That will get us, and then if you click on the window, that'll get us the name of this window. So as we can see here, that's st-256 color. So in my compositor, I've got that in there and basically I've got it set to 90% transparency. But with a tab, because you're embedding the ST window within another window, the main window that's gonna be transparent is the tabbed window. So you need to find the name of tabbed. And luckily it's fairly simple. So if we open up a new terminal, so I've got the ST, Tmux and tabbed thing already bound to something. That's just bound to shift super and enter and that will open that up. So if we run xprop in here now, and then we click on that other window, that will get us the name. So as we can see in here, right at the bottom, it's just called tabbed. So that's gonna be fairly simple to change. So if we bring up LF and go into my compositor, so, or my compositor configs, so it's now called PyCom. At some point it was called Compton, so if you've noticed a change, then that's what it is now. So we just need to add this line in here. So just however you're doing your opacity rules before, I'm using just class names. So I have it set to 90%. So 90 colon class G tabbed. And that will then give me the same transparency that I've got with ST. The only problem with this is that if you're using tabbed for anything else, like maybe surf, it'll add transparency to that. So if you don't want that, then you're probably 
in a little bit of trouble. So, yeah, that's that's basically that. So close off that, close that off. So just before we end it, we'll go over what that command was one more time, just so you guys know what it is. So it's tabbed dash R two ST dash W, not quotes, the other ones, you can see what they look like, Tmux. And that will then get you panes and tabbing within ST. So I don't use this myself and there's a couple of reasons for that. So the reason I don't use tabbing is because I never have enough terminal windows open that it actually makes any sense to have tabbing. I'll at most ever have like maybe two, maybe three terminals open and I want to be able to see them all at the same time. So it doesn't really make any sense for me to use tabbing. And as for panes, I'm using a tiling window manager. Uh, there's no point using panes because literally that's what my window manager already does. So it's just a bit of extra bloat that I'm never gonna use. So I think that's pretty much everything. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you already know how to do tabbing and panes within ST, then I don't know why you watch the end, but thank you. And if you learned something, then let me know down below if you're gonna use this in your daily life. And if you wanna see more videos like this, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. Down below, I've got my Discord and my library link, so go check those out. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video's in, so go check that out if you wanna see other ST videos and just random other Linux videos, I guess. And I think that's pretty much everything. Write my Twitter, go follow that because you'll get video updates there. So now that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out.